Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm your host, Jason Aiken. This week's episode is the first for Pulp Crazy, as I will be reviewing a work of nonfiction. The title of the book is The Way They Were, The Histories of Some of Adventure Fiction's Most Famous Heroes and Villains. It is written by researcher and fiction writer Jeff Deicher and published by Western Tainment Books. It's available to purchase on Amazon in paperback and ebook format. The Way They Were covers a broad range of topics that will be of interest to pulp fans. Amongst this collection of essays are chronologies and deductions pertaining to classic literature and pulp magazine characters. Here's an overview of the contents of the book. First, I'll start off with the cover. This is a great choice as it's an awesome pulp cover by Norman Saunders. The character pictured on the cover is Captain Hazard. He was a Doc Savage clone that only appeared in one pulp magazine. He's now in the public domain. Ron Fortier has revived him over at Airship 27, fixing up the original novel and continuing his adventures in new stories. Again, I like this cover choice a lot. Now, on to the actual essays. Part 1 is devoted to Doc Savage. We start out with a summary chronology of the Doc Savage series. Jeff has an expanded version of this chronology available that's titled The Adventures of the Man of Bronze, a Definitive Chronology. However, this summary is still pretty comprehensive, as it puts the Doc Savage stories and interluding events in chronological order and provides dates and the length of the adventures. Related Doc Savage essays include That Stormy Night, Establishing Doc Savage's Birthday, as well as What Dent Wrote, What Dent Knew, What Dent Meant, The Final Word on Doc Savage's Age. One of my favorites is The French Connection, In Search of Doc Savage's Parentage an alternative to Philip Jose Farmer's Wold Newton genealogy. He also includes a probable family tree for Doc based on his research. In this tree are Wolf Larson, Sam Spade, and Philip Marlowe, to name a few. He also has an article devoted to Doc's trainers titled the men who made Doc Savage. Part 2 is devoted to the Avenger, Richard Henry Benson. Jeff opens with a chronology of the Avenger series, along with an essay providing his evidence on the subject. The chronology provides the dates and length of the story. He also provides a chronology and essay on the pre-Avenger years of Richard Henry Benson. Another essay titled, Where is Bleak Street?, deduces the location of Justice Incorporated's headquarters. Part 3 is devoted to the selected works of Jules Verne. Jeff starts out with an article titled, The Captain Nemo Conundrum, followed by a chronology of Nemo's life. Next up is The Conqueror of the Air, an article about Rober the Conqueror, as well as Captain Moores. An essay on the Baltimore Gun Club, From Earth to the Moon, is also included. An essay on Journey to the Center of the Earth is also in this section as well. Part 4 is titled, Miscellaneous Characters and Stories. 
An essay titled, When Did the Events of Dracula Occur?, and a chronology of the novel are included in this section. As well as, When Did the Events of Frankenstein Occur?, There is also the article, The Story of Eric, The Phantom of the Opera. It's an essay, and there's an accompanying chronology of the novel with it. There's also a chronology of the selected works of H.G. Wells, also included is an analysis on Gulliver of Mars, Lieutenant Gulliver Jones and a chronology of the novel. An essay titled The Korak Question, which has Jeff's take on the Korak age discrepancy, as well as a Tarzan novel chronology through the son of Tarzan. There's also an extensive chronology of the original James Bond novels. A personal favorite of mine is Antarctica and Mars in early genre fiction. Now, part five is a chronology of what Jeff dubs the shared fictional universe, which places various works discussed within the book into a cohesive timeline. Not only is The Way They Were a great resource for pulp fans, but I also think it would be a great reference for students who are doing reports on the wide variety of classic literature characters that are covered in the book. Not only for the content itself, but reading just deductions should also help students out with their reading comprehension and analysis skills, as they can see how he draws conclusions based on the readings. It is also sure to be helpful as a reference to new pulp writers, given the multiple chronologies involved, especially new pulp writers who like to use public domain characters or write crossover fiction. Be sure to check out The Way They Were. A sample is available to read on Amazon. I'll be sure to put a link to the Amazon pages in the show notes. That's it for this week's episode. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at Pulp Crazy on Twitter and Facebook.com slash Pulp Crazy. My YouTube channel is located at YouTube.com slash Pulpcast. You could also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.